party thugs, as NDP thugs, as state thugs, and that in Egypt uh, terminology has one very specific connotation, that these people are being let loose onto the streets to create a sense of havoc, perhaps to try to steal away some of the momentum. Well, I'm standing in front of the Egyptian embassy in Washington where people are chanting, down with Mubarak and down with Suleiman. They're not at all happy about the turn of events uh, in Cairo today. They're not satisfied with the moves taken uh, by the Egyptian government and by its president in particular, and nor is the State Department. And appropriately enough, a Twitter message today, it said that Egypt cannot just shuffle the deck and stand pat, a reference to the designation of a new vice president. Now, you see this demonstration behind me here, but there are similar demonstrations in Toronto and Canada, later in the day in Los Angeles, and also in front of the United Nations in New York City, involving Egyptian Americans, but also other people who are just electrified by uh, what's going on on their TV screens. The situation from a security perspective is still very vague. As we were reporting since late last evening, there has been no presence of any of the Ministry of Interior security forces on the streets of Cairo. And that in itself is very troubling. The Ministry of Interior has about 1.2 million uh, uh, forces under its control, command and control. For them to simply melt away in the country is going to be very disturbing uh, if indeed they become an element of instability in the country. It's happening now more or less. It would seem to be a complete uh, breakdown of law and order. Uh, there are renewed reports of looting. There are repeated sightings of uh, young men with, uh, with knives, with clubs, with chains, breaking uh, into shops, continuing their uh, apparent acts of vandalism and looting. Getting accounts from a lot of eyewitnesses telling us uh, that they're very concerned about uh, news that looting and vandalism is taking place in various areas. They're assigning that blame uh, to former uh, security service members uh, and thugs belonging to the ruling National Democratic Party. Began by a call from activists on the internet uh, to Egyptians to have a similar uprising like that of Tunisia. But the people that we saw took to the streets on January 25th were regular citizens, ordinary Egyptians, and not the Muslim Brotherhood. Not, I mean, obviously there were elements from there, but the majority were ordinary citizens.